Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, the home of the crazy, stupid deals. Crazy, stupid deal that I found was on 308 ammo. This Federal, this is 180 grain soft point, okay? This is a hunting round. This is good. I mean, this is good ammo. Is it? Is it the absolute best hunting round out there? No, probably not. You know, is it more than adequate for whitetail, hog hunting, uh, yes, it is. But here's the thing. I found this. It had a rebate, okay? And it was from Palmetto State Armory. $7.99 a box after the rebate. That's 40 cents a round, okay? If you have a 308, you've priced out 308, that is crazy, stupid, cheap. Now, if you missed it, because now it's out of stock and it's been out of stock since late that morning when I found it, this is why you need to join my Twitter account or however that works. I am not a social media person. I use it for the business and that's about it. But, you know, whatever you call it, I tweet when I find the crazy stupid deals like this. And as you can see, it was 7 o'clock in the morning, mid-afternoon, out of stock. Okay, hasn't come back in. Also, on my Facebook page, I post this. So, great ammo, 40 cents a round. You can't hardly even find range ammo for 40 cents a round. $7.99 a box. And I know some of you, the rebates, it's super easy. You fill it out online. I do the rebates with Federal, CCI, Blazer, um, all these rebates, and I've gotten my money on all of them. So, it's that easy. All that's left to do is, you know, basically test it. Let's see what kind of groups we can get, consistency, you know, and even if it's just okay, it's 40 cents around. So if you haven't visited our webpage, if you haven't, you know, joined my Twitter account, if you don't follow us on Facebook, you're missing these deals. Anyway, let's go outside and shoot this. Okay, it's a beautiful day in December. I've got the Federal. I've got one round in here. I want to put it down, make sure that it's just on the pie plate, and then I'm not going to do the whole dial-in thing because all I want to do is test for groups. If, you know, if it's grouping good, I know I can redial it. So let's just see where it's at here. Just off to the right of the bullseye. I'm going to load up. I'm going to do four groups of five and then i'm going to let the barrel cool for five minutes in between just just so we have some consistency between the groups and then we're going to take a look and see what what kind of groups we're getting they're nice and tight we may try out at some distance and have a little fun Um, unless I'm missing something, we'll go down there and take a look. This is cheap hunting ammo. Hunting ammo, 180 grain, soft point. And unless I'm mistaken, I pretty much have one big clover leaf hole. Um, that wouldn't surprise me though. I've actually done that before with this same line of Federal with the 243. Gonna let the barrel cool here for five minutes and we're gonna send another five. Maybe we'll run down here and just take a look real quick before we add to the target. So there's the first four shots. One of these, maybe even two, I don't remember. This target's already been sitting up here for like a week. But that was the group that I just shot with that Federal. Guys, $7.99 a box. Let's run some more and see if we can just make one great big hole. Yeah, now we're off a little bit, but could be shooter. And I think that was my fault. I went past the five minutes. 
I'd let the barrel cool a little longer than I anticipated. We'll do the five minutes. We'll see if the group goes back down. Um, it's still a pretty tight group. Group has opened up a little bit, but still, considering $7.99 a box, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so we're all done here. Here's our final group. You know, we've got, oh, maybe about a two inch. This was the initial group. Actually, the initial group was sub MOA. And then it kind of moved down as we went on. I'm guessing the barrel either got colder than I thought or it stayed warmer than I thought for hunting. You know what I do is I'd let this just sit out here for, you know, whatever, half hour so that it's the temp outside. I'd fire a shot and then I'd wait five, 10 minutes or whatever till the barrel can, everything was totally cold and then do it again. But right now I wanna just play at some distance here. So I'm gonna kinda go with this and make a few adjustments. Uh, I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna do two up and then I'm gonna use my SIG Kilo and we're gonna range that and see if we can hit 500. Okay, so we're gonna give it a good test here. We're gonna go 500 yards. I got my SIG Kilo range finder got the app and I'm going to spot this. All right, I need to go 12.67 MOA. So we, I've got my Nikon here. It's got the target turrets. I'm just going to turn it. Ah. Not sure where it's going. So I had the same thing kind of happen the other day when I was testing um, some spear gold dot in my 308 and my 556. I don't know if that kind of flat soft point tip throws it off when you get out of there at distance. At 100, they were doing nice tight groups. Let's try 400. I redoped the scope. I don't know where it's going. I wish I knew where it was going. I turn back over here and I got a good group. Just want to do a quick check here. This is some PPU that I did a review on 155 grain. I got this stuff. I dialed it in and I could just sit there and ping away at 500 yards. I want to see where this is shooting and then maybe try up there. I got my Ruger Precision 308 here. Different scope. I want to see if I get any different groups. Actually, those groups were a little bit bigger. Try three more shots. That group was actually quite a bit worse. I'm gonna stick with the original group with my Bart line barrel. I do wanna try 155 grain. I believe that's what I got this zeroed for. Let that barrel cool back down. Uh, Cause I do wanna test, <laughs> things keep going wrong here. I'm not hitting 500 and I wanna see if it's me or if, if I'm having some diff 
issues with ammo or what? Okay, so I was actually getting kind of nervous thinking, man, what is going on with the groups? Um, I wasn't hitting anything at 500 yards. And so anyway, bigger precision with that Federal 180 grain. And I thought, wow, man, what is going on? Okay, I know I was shooting good with the PPU 155 grain, and that's actually three bullets. That's three shots, and that's what I had been getting. But I'm still gonna argue, for $7.99 a box, and for most people deer hunting and just plinking, that's a thumbs up. Look at the first group that we got. There we go. That was using, that was using Hornady, American Whitetail, 150 grain. I was starting to question uh, if I'd lost my skills or something here, because this wasn't hitting anything. The winds kind of dropped down, but anyway, SIG BDX, this is just a Nikon, and I ranged it, and I doped it, 10.78 MOA, two out of three, not bad. Hey guys, don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Check out my webpage, the home of the crazy stupid deals. This is where I have links, and this is where I send stuff like this out. Um, Twitter, you know, I shot this out the morning that I got it, and they were sold out by noon. So anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Till next time, happy shooting, be safe, and remember, gun control starts with you and me being educated and helping others be educated.